hey guys how's it going and in this tutorial i'm gonna show you guys how to put a link to a website inside a text view so first of all we need to add a text view to our activity so just go to the layout file of your activity you know in case you don't already know you can find the layout that is the .xml file of your activity inside the app folder then go to the resources folder that is shown as res then go to the layout and there you have the you know layout file for your activity so just open that and you know add a text view there where we will be you know putting the link to our website now you might need to put a link to a website for a variety of reasons for example um, I might have a you know small link at the bottom of the screen or the activity that takes the user to my you know portfolio or my uh, website where I have uh, you know contact us page or something like that or where I have an about us page so you might need to do that for a variety of reasons so just add the text view to the layout and then let me just put that in the top okay so then good you know switch to the text uh, for the layout file and inside the Android text um, we will be you know using a string resource now uh, to use a string resource what we need to do is we need to go to the values folder and you know open the stack I'm sorry the strings.xml now strings.xml holds uh, you know some of the resources for the strings that will be used throughout the app so um, just create a new resource um, something uh, by just copying this I have already created a resource that contains a link as you can see right here so this I'm sorry I think I you know need some all right so I have already created a string resource with the name link to site so um, let me just explain the syntax um, real quick so you you know start with the tag string name and then have the name of the string resource inside double quotes and then between these tags that is a string and this tag um, you have whatever string that you want to display all right now in this case i have a string resource with the name link to site and inside the you know string uh, tags what i have is here i have uh, you know uh, i have used the html syntax to define a link that is um, we start with the a tag then inside uh, for each ref we put the link that we want uh, to go to uh, inside the double quotes and make it equal to href then after the tag we can you know write whatever we want to be displayed on the screen like um, in this case on the screen it will show developed by Manas Sharma and then when the user clicks on this they will be taken to this URL so that's um, you know it is uh, pretty common in HTML in HTML we usually define a link in this way so I guess you probably already know that so what you need to do is you need to go back to the main activity that is the layout file and in the Android text um, in, instead of the default text what you need to do is you need to use the string resource um, that contains the link so in my case it is called link to site that is this you can name it whatever you want and you can have you know have any link here that you want so I will do that now um, basically when you switch to the design tab you can see that it shows developed by Manas Sharma and when we click on it it will go to the link okay so let's run it now I tell you guys that it will go to the link but actually it won't there is still a problem with the code but let me just show you guys what the problem is um, okay so just waiting for the app to refresh okay okay so here it is so now you can see that I have this nice developed by Manas Sharma link here which should go to the link that I have provided but when you click on it as you can see I am doing right now when I click on it it isn't taking me to the link so what the problem is that you know we haven't uh, told Android to enable the links inside the text view 
So we need to tell Android Studio to enable the links inside the text view. So we do that by going to the Java file of the activity. Now you can find the Java file of the activity inside the, you know, um, okay, so you can find that inside the app folder. Then go to Java and then, you know, the package name and then you have the Java file for your activity. And then inside the on create method of your activity, you need to, you know, have the following lines of code. Now, I just uh, had them copied, so I pasted these two lines of code. So you need to have these two lines of code. However, you don't need to copy them exactly. Um, let me tell you what you need to tweak and adjust for your code. Now, what we are doing here, here is we are creating an object of the type text view and this object is called text. So text is the name of the object and it is of the type text view. So what you can change in your code is you can change the name of the object. You can maybe just write T or whatever the hell you want so you can do that. So let me just change it back to text. Then you need to, uh, you know, copy this part of the code exactly as it is. And basically what we are doing is we are finding the text view where we want to display the link. So um, we will need the ID of the text view where we want to display the link. So this part would be the ID of the text view. Now in my case, um, if I go to the layout file, I can see that the ID of my text view is text view. So you can maybe change that to whatever you prefer. So uh, let me just change it to text one. So then just type the ID here, all right, the ID of the text view where you want to display the link. Then in the second line, um, this would be the name of the object that you created in the previous line. So if you created an object with a different name like T, then make sure that you have the same name here. So let me just change that to T. Then we will, you know, you can copy this part of the code as it is the rest of the part that is set movement method, link movement method dot get instance and blah blah. So basically what this line of code actually is doing is that it is telling the Android to enable the links inside the text view. So if I run the app now and let me just go to the emulator and wait for it to refresh. So when we run the app now, the link that we created would you know work like it should and it would take us to the url that i mentioned okay so app is loading again with the new code and this time when i click on the link you can see that it is clickable and it takes me to the url and it switches to the internet browser and takes me to the url that i mentioned inside the string resource all right that's it guys that's how e um, that's how easy it is to you know show a, or put a link inside the text view and i hope you guys uh, followed the video and it wasn't too tough for you and if you like the video don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this if you have any doubts or questions leave them in the comment section down below and that's it thanks for watching and have a great day